Said the Parma turning down the shot at three points in pursuit of a greater reward. Luigi again to the front, this Ball. time Guido Volpi is the target. Zebra Parma wheel this ball around, That's it's on like roller you. skates, it's all the way to the line and they score! Deadlock splintered in Parma! And Ulster's mighty pack of ballers are trampled into the Italian dirt! Took the penalty well, got the access into the 22. And that's a that's a great mall try for Zebra. Ulster will be disappointed with this start. Nice conditions to kick into, not like home in Belfast. Fiscantelli has uh, split the kindling. Beautifully struck from wide on the right. Warwick gets another carry. Ewers called for it instead. Matty Ray took it on. Here's McCann. Zebra fringe defence creaking stay, here. Stay, 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 stay. Ball is not out, and Greg McGrath on his debut, burrowing to within a metre. This is promising for Ulster, in the shadow of the posts. Don't go digging, Treadwell, Flannery must score, does score. Well, they got there in the end. Barely had a sniff all season, did Jake Flannery. It's his first Ulster try, and he will hope that it's the start of better things to come in an Ulster jersey. He's, he's someone you want to have those leadership qualities that I think Billy Burns does so well, the way he speaks to the team, addresses the team, almost captain of the ship, but definitely talented player, Jake Flannery, and uh, very skillful too, might I add. Nathan Dope levels the scores. Zebra Parma's lead did not last long to Zebra Parma. Garcia. Down the blind side he goes, Cambriani, the seven specialist, is burning into the 22, rounds Addison, Stockdale gets him at the last, good offload to Garcia, here's Guido Volpi, Zebra Parma exploding into their attacking shape, Pisciantelli, fed onto Licata! What a score, they had the penalty advantage but they decided to run it. Ben Cambriani, who we were talking about before. What a break. What, what sort of desire to get to the line. Uh, it's the rugby we saw in flashes last season. We did, and it's, it's exciting to see. It's, it's, it's what the crowd want to see. It's what the players want to play. Speaking from experience, and I hope to see a little bit of that from Ulster as well. It's the perfect conditions here. It's, it's a dream condition for a game of rugby. Roddy Grant's drilled. Ulster set piece functions well. Flannery off the head of Angus Curtis, but Big Dave Viewers was on hand. Treadwell, that's a fabulous line. He's side through. He's taking on Jay-Z, who has to put his head in the spokes. Don't goes left. Finds Greg McGrath. The former Jersey Reds juggernaut. Zebra Parma slow it through Bonfilio. Doak. Treadwell pulling it back for Flannery, Curtis, and now McCann, shoulder down, finding Lowry, and the little man on the wing scurries home for Ulster's second try. This is end-to-end, -end, riveting fair in Parma. Great try, and it started with Kieran Treadwell's unbelievable line in the middle of the park. What a line to bust through the defence, and then the smarts to go out the back there to, to Jake Flannery through Angus into the hands of Dave McCann. What a lovely offload to Mike Laurie. Fine strike again from Doak. We're all square once more. 14 points apiece, just 18 minutes played. Volpe. Oh, lovely hands off the deck to BG. Was he taken high? Garcia. Lovely timing on the pass, Lukin, Pani stumbling, gets back to his feet again. Support comes in from Garcia, Simone Jay-Z, like a ballet dancer escaping the clutches of two Ulstermen. Garcia goes it alone. Three metres out to Ebre Parma, Mohamed Hassa gets them a metre or two closer. Still they come in. Great blue and yellow waves, they change direction. Lorenzo Paddy's eyes light up and he's in. 
Every Zebra Parma attack is yielding Zebra Parma points right now. It's raining tries in Italy. Lorenzo Pani has the home side's third. Scantelli kicked it just 56% off the tee last season. He's 100% so far in the new campaign. Three from three for the Argentine. Here goes one of those line-out trick plays and Tom Stewart looking to open his account for the campaign. Dave Ewers, European and Premiership champion with Exeter. Here's Curtis running from out to in, asking testing questions of the Zebra Parma rear guard. He leaked 105 tries last season. Also looking to make hay. This is Stockdale. And this is the province's third of the afternoon. It is a tri-fest in Parma. Jacob Stockdale, the latest, to get off the mark. That's how it's done. Dead-eye Doak from wide on the left, squinting into the bright Italian sunshine and plundering two more points. We are level again. The way the competition's gone, no game is a given. Real boost for the URC if Zebra could become more competitive. Win a few more matches. This is a fourth more penalty, and Adam Jones is going to go to his pocket here. He warned Tom Stewart. And the next time of asking, the yellow is brandished. Kieran Treadwell off for 10. That's right. The big license has got his reverse lights flashing. Zebra Parma take it against the head. Priscantelli, Enrico Lochin running the arc. He's a power athlete as the inside centre. Garcia hitting Volpi. Last play of the half and Ulster look to have stolen it back. Now Zebra Parma have it. The ball exchanging hands as the clock goes red. Priscantelli sending it wide. Will they get the touchdown? Oh, yes! Oh, my goodness, that is as lucky a bounce I think I've ever seen. What a play! What a clutch play from Priscantelli and from Scott Gregory. And as Dan McFarland and his coaching staff trip towards the tunnel, the winless, at times hapless, Zebre Parma have a first half bonus point. Wow. Who predicted this? Priscantelli can't quite apply more icing to what has been a fat, juicy Italian cake in this first half. Penalty advantage, Zebra Parma. Lukin holds it up for Priscantelli. Jay-Z lurking, but it goes to Pani instead. Jay-Z on the inside. Lowry can't bring him down. Nathan Dock can't bring him down. Jay-Z's through. Ulster's defence filleted. The Italians are running riot in Parma. Here's Lowry. Allison. Shaping to run. Stewart. First touch in the Ulster jersey for James French. Now Lowry. Need his magic. I'll go backwards, play on. Oh, Stuart Moore did go backwards. And here's Ozuchuku. There's those soft, gilded hands. And it goes to ground. Addison scoops it up. Reeds, Stewart, Stockdale, Timoney, James Hume lurking on the outside. Timoney hauled down by CC. Important tackle. But McCann comes again for the Ulsterman. They need their leaders and their big boys to stand up now. Addison, an overlap on the wide outside, Lowry cutting inside, beats Jay-Z, looking for a second try, Mike Lowry. They hold him up four metres short. Doak, Tom Stewart, the skipper. Doak again, Flannery, Reed, static, enveloped, marks backwards. This is where all those drills with Richard Hodges, the new defence coach, will come into play for Zebra Parma. Can they keep 
this Ulster tied at bay. Doak again going blind, Stuart Moore slips the tackle and the try machine himself gets one of the most important he's scored in his province's colours. Tom Stewart's under the sticks and how Ulster needed that. The most venomous driving mall, mall. in most of European rugby last season. Once. This is what Dan McFarland longs to see. And this is where Tom Stewart scores so many tries. Hunting a second of the day, the Ulster skipper. Zebra trying manfully to stop them. Let's use it then, please. They've got five seconds to play this. Doak has to move it. Nick Timoney dips his shoulder. Stewart buffeting Please. and bouncing and held just short. Doak again. Is a Chukwu again. Millimeters from the white line. McCann whirling, can't ground it. Doak reads. The big prop bashed sideways. Zebra creaking. Ulster threatening. Two on one here, Hume, Stockdale, try! It's taken an hour, but at last, for the first time in this ebbing and flowing encounter, Ulster have the lead. This for a four-point lead. Being captain in the pre-season friendly against Treviso, where he also took the field with his younger brother. Bright future. Doesn't quite hold its line. First miss of the day for Nathan Doak for Juan Pitinari in the front row. Mohamed Hassa in his presence felt too in the 17 jersey. Here come Ulster, Stockdale, Addison finding Mike Lowry. This is dangerous, this is very dangerous. A high shot on Lowry. Ulster with the penalty advantage and they're going to need it. Here come Ulster again. This big Ulster tank is trundling. And Tom Stewart is scoring again. And might that be the try that breaks this Zebra Parma resistance? All but one of his 60 seconds, Nathan Dolt, but he used them so, so well. And that feels like a very significant goal with 11 minutes left. One out carries for Zebra Parma just at the moment. Full score now, they look to put some width on it. Tipped on by Lukin Gregory, fabulous shot. Fusco keeps it alive, dribbles it down the touchline, and Jesus in for a double. You cannot count them out. And you cannot keep Simone Jay-Z quiet for long. All those thankless hours of running and lifting and sweating and grafting boil down to. It's a clutch play with three minutes left. Zebra Parma pulverizing the Ireland scrum. Ulster rocking once more. Stadio Sergio Lanfranchi rising. Hope abounds for Zebre Parma, where for so long no hope has existed. A little over two minutes on the clock. And they're moving it inch by inch. Lukin, Priscantelli. It goes behind Lorenzo Pani, but. They had that scrum penalty to play with. Another minute ticks by. Zebra Parma channeling 25 matches of misery into this drive. Another penalty melt. Time off. And Adam Jones might be thinking yellow here. This will be the last play of the match. Zebra Parma rouse themselves. Set. And their heavyweight contingent for one last Langston. raid. One more scrummage. One final attack. 
Again, Ulster are marmalised up front. Now the yellow's coming out. Yellow card. I can't play advantage. What's the call here from Zebra Parma? They've battered away with Scrum after punishing Scrum. Now they tap and run with the match on the line. A first win in 18 months at stake. Hassa goes round the corner, McCann drives him backwards, they've lost it, and they've lost the game! What an opportunity with six tries, stuck on the finest defence the URC had to offer last season. But in the end, Ulster cling on. Kieran Treadwell, who was everywhere today, is the BKT URC Player of the Match, as nominated by our Italian colleagues. But Ulster have been made to work all oh, so very hard. 12 tries, split six apiece, but in the end, it is job just about done for Ulster.